Hello Scorpio, how are you? I hope you're doing well. Welcome to my channel and if you're a returning soul, welcome back. Okay, Scorpio, by the time this video will be published, we'll, we'll have a new moon in Scorpio and in Sagittarius. It will be on the cusp of both signs, okay? So let's see what this new moon energy has for you. Still remember that my readings are timeless and they're general. So whatever I channel in this reading, it doesn't mean that's going to happen precisely in the moment of this new moon, okay? Just keep what resonates, leave what, what, leave what doesn't, okay? Leave the rest behind. And uh, like I said, my readings are timeless. I strongly believe that you come across these messages when you need to see them, okay? You could probably see this video 10 years down the road and maybe that's when you have to see it, okay? But still, uh, do keep in mind that they're timeless and they're, and they're general, okay? And um, all my readings are for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus placement. So if you have Scorpio in those placements in your chart, this might be the reading for you. If it doesn't resonate, maybe you want to check another uh, zodiac sign that I upload. It all depends on the on the signs that you have on your chart, okay? Maybe another zodiac sign might make more sense. It all depends on your current life path and your karma, okay? Scorpio, thank you for your likes, comments, subscribing to my channel. And your kind donations, I truly appreciate it very, very much. Okay, and I do see, I do read all your re your comments. Okay, even if I don't reply, I I heart them to let you know that I saw it and to express my gratitude. Okay, and last but not least, if you would like to uh, book a personal reading with me, or if you would like to make a kind donation and support my channel, support what I do. All the info is in the description box down below. Keep in mind that's the only way that you can contact me. I do not contact or reach out to anyone offering my services. Please keep that in mind. Be aware of, it, of scammers. There's a lot of them, okay? So just be careful. All right, Scorpio, let's see what we have for you. Scorpio, I'm doing things a little different now. Okay, I'm gonna lay out the whole spread and then I'm going to clarify with another deck. I'm gonna strengthen, I'm gonna go more in depth with the messages. And then I'm gonna close out your reading with another deck, which is based on the Demon Tarot. It's uh, taken from an encyclopedia of demons by a, demonolo a French demonologist who published this encyclopedia back in 1818. And it helps us uh, work on some shadow aspects or certain energies, what we have to release or what we should work on, okay? Okay, Scorpio, the heart of the matter or what this reading is about, the current energy. It's the full, okay? It's a brand new beginning. It's time for you to take a leap of faith. Don't be afraid. You're not gonna fall, okay? There's a cliff right in front of them. Some of you might be ignoring it, and that's good. And some of you might be afraid of it. It's only an illusion, okay? Have faith. You see all that yellow? There's a lot of solar plexus energy in the sun. Okay, that's self-confidence. I think you're being guided to do this. You're not alone, okay? They've got your back. Scorpio, the energy that's crossing you, it could be a challenge. It's the sun card, okay? It's a strong Leo energy. Maybe it's the confidence of taking this leap of faith, which you're missing. They're strongly telling you to have to be confident. Don't be afraid, okay? There's a lot of happiness waiting for you. This is the best card in the tarot, okay? Be like a child, don't lose your innocence. And be playful, be joyful. Don't stress. 
Don't stress about this new beginning. Don't fear, okay? You probably don't see things very clearly. That's why it's probably challenging. If the sun illuminates, you probably don't see things clearly, okay? Just have faith. The energy that is crowning you, it it's what you do see clearly in your conscious mind is the queen of swords, okay? This, this strong Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius energy. Usually the Queen of Swords tells us about cutting something out of our lives. Maybe you do to have this new beginning, but I think it's also a lot of mental thinking about how you're going to proceed with this. It's like you're still waiting for some clarity to come in to you so that then you can take the sleep of faith. The energy that's below you, your subconscious mind and what you don't see clearly and maybe you should, is the hangman, that's Piscean energy, okay? You feel stuck and they're telling you that it's there's a reason for it, okay? That's what you don't see. There's a reason for you to be in this position upside down. You don't stagnated or you feel like your world is upside down. It's for you to get clarity, okay? They're telling you to, to get out of your mind, to get out of your, out of that conscious energy of trying to get more clarity in a, in a situation. Okay, get out of your mind, get unstuck, okay? That's for some of you, for others of you is, there's a reason for you to be feeling this way. Take it as, as it best resonates for you, okay? Remain neutral. You'll get some answers or more clarity, but don't sit and wait too long for that to happen, okay? If there's something that you feel that you have to, to take action on, just do it now, the time is now. Stop thinking too much about it. The energy that's behind you, it's pushing you through this. or it's happening behind the scenes for you. It's the Queen of Wands. She has the same sunflower that we have the sunflowers on the sun as a challenge. It's Leo energy also. Could also be Sagittarius or Aries. Something about confidence here also, letting the, ha the magic happen. Let the magic happen, let the mystery happen. Don't be afraid if you don't see things clearly. Just sit pretty and let things happen. I mean, do take action, but be calm. But be passionate. The black cat, it's magic. Let the magic happen. Some of you could be seeing cat, but black cat, probably.
Don't be afraid of the, of, the, of the unknown, okay? Have faith. Trust yourself. You don't have to be too... It's not like the king of, of wands. He's more bold, more, more assertive, more, more aggressive with his actions. The queen isn't. She sits pretty and lets things happen for her. <clears throat> Excuse me. The energy in front of you, where you're headed to, or what is coming towards you, is the Ten of Swords, okay? I think you're going to be releasing a sense of betrayal, some backstabbing here. You know it's the end, or the end is coming. It's, it's near for you. For some of you, there might be just one more sword to take. It's going to be like the straw that breaks the camel's back. And it's going to give you that clarity to then take that leap. You're going to say, now it's the time to get unstuck from this energy. This is the way you see yourself or how you're responding to the situation. See his pentacles. It's a brand new beginning. Self-confidence. Self-worth. Very stable. If you're investing, you're going for it. Investing in anything, okay? Remember, I just read the energy. You apply it to your current situation, okay? If it's financial, if it's a new beginning, it's going to be stable. It's because you're going to get that mental clarity that you're probably seeking. And because you're going to have faith. You're going to let the magic happen. Okay? It's very nice. This is the divine. You're accepting it. You're surrendering to it. That's it. Surrender to it. Let go of that sense of betrayal and backstabbing. Okay? Scorpio, the energy that's surrounding you, influencing you or affecting you somehow, is the tower, that Scorpio energy. And there's where this new moon energy comes in with Scorpio and Sagittarius, okay? So with that Queen of Wands, which is also a fire energy. There's a lot of fire energy here. So we have that energy of Scorpio Sagittarius. You got you have to let if something has to fall apart, if something has to crumble down, let it happen. Okay? It's happening for you, not to you. Okay? Let the mystery happen. Let the magic happen. I think this is a good tower. Might be scary. Might knock you off your balance. But it has to happen. Okay? There's something that wasn't built in solid foundation here. This is your hopes and fears. It's the Ace of Cups. Okay, you're hoping for that new beginning. Not only where you feel stable, but it's that self-fulfillment, emotional fulfillment. It's divine love. You want to be supported by people or energies that surround you and by the divine. If you let things happen for you, you will be supported, okay? Don't be afraid. There's a lot of magic happening here for you. It's 
Some of you might even become light workers after this. Probably tough lesson in your life. But once you let that betrayal feeling behind, you've got to be able to heal yourself and then you might be able to help others if that is what you are being called to do. You'll feel it, you'll know. The energy that your outcome or advice, which I usually take more as advice, is the page of wands, okay? Don't be afraid to start fresh and from the bottom again. It is gonna be a long walk. It's, it's gonna be a lone, lonely walk. You have to do it by footstep, step by step, one day at a time, okay? If there's some healing to be done here, don't be afraid, okay? Remain passionate. Remain passionate, okay, Scorpio? Something you're holding on to tight and you gotta let it go, okay? That's why the tower moment's coming in. That's why it's gonna be influencing you or affecting you. Something that wasn't built for you meant for you actually better said has to come down it's a brand new beginning for you here and you're manifesting okay scorpio let's clarify each card One more, one more Scorpio. Yeah. Okay, Scorpio. The heart of the matter of the current energy is the fool. Okay, he's taking that leap. It's a new beginning. Very passionate, very confident. Well, you need confidence. They're telling you to trust yourself here with the Nine of Pentacles, okay? She has a hawk in her hand, and that hawk is her intuition. But the hawk has a hood on it, so her intuition is a little blocked, okay? The hawk cannot see clearly. All you have to do is take that hood off and let that hawk see, let it fly. It will come back to you with messages, with information that you need. That is trusting your intuition, okay? To be able to take that leap of faith, you're gonna have to trust yourself and trust the process, okay? Remain grounded and understand who you really are. That's pre empress energy right there. very stable just trust in your intuition okay Scorpio the energy that's crossing you it could be challenging is the Sun okay it's probably that fear of not being able to see things clearly trust yourself again okay Be confident. Stay emotionally fulfilled within yourself. Or try to work in that energy. Because when you are emotionally fulfilled with yourself, you'll be able to see things more clearly. You'll, you, you, 
and the joy that you will start feeling is, is going to be amazing. It's a lot of happiness. It's a rebirth for you. Like a child again. Okay? Be like a child. Don't lose your innocence. And be playful. To have fun. Okay, Scorpio? Scorpio, the energy that's crowning you in your conscious mind, what you do see clearly or what's happening up here consciously, we have the Queen of Swords, okay? Maybe something that you do want to cut out, but you're still probably thinking how to do it, okay? But maybe this is how to proceed. You're probably waiting for some mental clarity to come in. This card is being reinforced by the Five of Cups, okay? Maybe you have to cut this energy out of your mind, focusing, replaying over and over what has been lost, okay? Because you're not focusing on the other two cups behind you. You're just focusing on the three cups that are spilled. What has been lost has been lost, and there's a reason for it, Scorpio, okay? Stop focusing on the past. Stop focusing on what happened. Cut that energy out. If it didn't serve you, there was a reason for it. I know it's affecting your emotions, okay? But since mind and emotions are so connected, once you start processing something properly, then the emotions also start working with it. Scorpio, the energy that's below you in your subconscious mind and you don't see clearly is the hangman, okay? This energy is being clarified by the lovers, okay? It's Gemini energy. And no, this is not someone coming into your life to balance things, okay? This is you. This is within you. If you're feeling stuck, there's a reason. It's so that you work in yourself and you come into perfect union with yourself. Your divine masculine and feminine energies have to be balanced and worked on, okay? And while you're in this position, upside down, trying to get clarity, this is what is happening or is trying to happen inside of you, okay? But you have to put part of the work yourself so that you can heal whatever happened here so that you can release that betrayal okay now this could be in a relationship this could have been in any other situation okay job environment whatever but you were betrayed you have to come in balance with yourself okay there's gonna be a snake it's gonna to try to confuse you. Don't listen to it. Okay? So that's the devil energy right there. And remember that the opposite card of the lovers is the devil. Okay? If you listen to that snake, then this card is going to become the devil energy. Try to remain balanced, Scorpio. Okay? Trust the divine. They're both looking up at the angel that's trusting the divine. Trust your guides, trust your angels. Scorpio, the energy that's behind you is the queen of wands. You have to trust or trusting the mystery, okay? Letting the magic happen, sitting pretty, let things flow. It's 
waiting, sitting, letting the magic happen. That's your ships coming in, okay? Just stop focusing on the past, but let the rest happen for you. It will come in. This is happening behind the scenes for you. Those three cups that are lost, you have to turn them into three wands. Turn those emotions into something passionate, okay? And let the magic happen. I'll keep saying that. Let the magic happen. Because that's the way it works. The energy in front of you, what's headed towards you or you're headed to, that sense that you're probably releasing or maybe you'll just get one more one more sword that is going to kickstart you to this new beginning it's like when you're gonna say enough is enough I am done with this that's why that tower is gonna come in You're dealing with an energy that has been just not the best. It's usually Sagittarius energy. Could you be dealing with Sagittarius? Maybe. If not, this is still also that moon energy. Okay? But it's showing you. Sorry, there's an alarm. It's something you've been dealing with that has not been consistent just coming in and out of your life and that's why it, it's giving you this backstabbing, this betray, betrayal sense I think there's still one more thing that's going to happen and that's when you're going to see things clearly I think maybe you're even like waiting for this to happen you already know it's going to happen Maybe that's why you're in that Queen of Swords. Are you like waiting for the right moment for something? Maybe you shouldn't, you know? Maybe it's just time to take action now. It depends. Just take it as a resonance, okay? This is how you see yourself or how you're responding, okay? You're accepting an offer here, but it's from the divine. It's that new beginning because you really want it. You want more stability. You want to be more grounded, more realistic. It's like I want something that's real for Christ's sake. For once in my life, I want something that is real. Because I have wasted too much time on something. It's that seven of pentacles just waiting. You see, he's just standing there looking at the energy that he invested. It's like, what have I gotten out of this? Now for some of you, you might be, inv be investing your time and energy in something, okay? Like I said, it can be a relationship, it could be financial. And you're just waiting for it to grow, to become this, okay? Scorpio, the energy that's surrounding you, influencing you or affecting you, is the tower, which is Scorpio energy. It's also like you. are part of this tower, you're causing it? Not really. You're just letting the divine do it. You have to let the divine do this, okay? Let the tower come in. But maybe you are causing it because you are Scorpio. 
Maybe this is your energy. Stinging. Finally. Because you're closing a cycle. Or a cycle has to be closed for a new one to start. Okay? That's the world card. That's beautiful. These two hand in hand, it's beautiful. It's an ending that has to happen. And I think you are letting it happen. Letting the magic, letting the mystery happen. Just don't be afraid of what you can't see clearly, okay? Work in your own happiness. Work in your own self, love. Okay, that's the challenge. Okay, you're taking a leap to something more abundant, but you just have to trust your, your intuition. That's all you have to do. Go for it. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Your hopes and fears is that you are supported somehow. You're hoping to be supported and loved. And to probably even maybe achieve this, even probably with someone or somewhere else. It's clarified by the Page of Wands again, okay? It's gonna be a long journey. You're also fearing that, okay? It has to, it has to be. All healing takes time, okay? One day at a time, one step at a time. But don't lose your passion for it, okay? Just move on to this new beginning. I have more respect for a page of wands than for a knight of wands, actually. Because the page of wands is on foot. And he can be slower, but more decisive. And the Knight of Wands is more erratic with his knight jumping. The outcome or advice is that Page of Wands again, okay? It's that new passion beginning, okay? And it's clarified, clarified or reinforced by the Knight, by the Knight, by the King of Swords, okay? So we have the Queen. And now we have the king. This strongly tells me that stop thinking about something, okay? Stop being in your mind about how you're going to do this. Just do it. Face it. Your conscious mind is the queen of swords. She's sitting sideways. That's still being kind of like indecisive thinking how am i going to do this how am i going to get out of this how am i going to cut this out of my life how am i going to take action no they're telling you sit more in your masculine energy okay it doesn't matter what gender you are okay but you have to step more into your masculine up here it's time it's time to take action it's time to take to cut i have the clear i have enough clarity to do this I'm going to start walking. I'm going to take that new new beginning now. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry. Scorpio, bottom of the deck. Stay balanced. Okay. Skin, get out of the loop. The repetitive cycle. Get out of it. But stay balanced. And don't think about... I'm going to fall, I'm going to trip, I'm going to, no. And have fun while you're doing it, because he's dancing. Have fun, okay? Scorpio, I'm going to close your energy. You're reading now with the Demon Tarot, which is the Forbidden Wisdom of the Infernal Dictionary, okay? I'm going to ask for a jumper, and we'll see what we can what's the best advice for you please let 
giving the best advice for Scorpio. What do they need to work on? What do they need to see? As they go through this path in their life. Okay, just one card, please. Or just as many, but not too many. And I'll only take the ones that fall on the table. The choppy. Okay, any more? Any more messages for Scorpio? No? Okay. I have two Scorpio, okay? I have Adramelik or Adramelic. Okay. Adramelik, also Adramelik with a K, okay, was an ancient sun god. We have the sun. In the twin cities of Sepharvaim. He was later designated as a ruling demon of hell with the head of a mule and some aspects of a peacock. Sounds like a charmer to me. I'm still new to this deck, so bear with me, but that's my best guess. Remember what I said about the serpent and the lovers? Don't let that snake come in and charm you, confuse you, okay? Adra Milek tells us to beware of judging by appearances, especially those who dress to impress, but have no substance behind their style. You see, that's, that's that serpent. I'm gonna come in and try to lure you somehow, confuse you or convince you. Don't let them, because then that card is going to be, turn into the devil, okay? Trust in the divine. Then we have Gomori. Gomori, also Gremori, is Duke of Hell with 26 military units under his command. He manifests as a delicate and feminine being riding a camel, similar in appearance to Paimon. Okay, well, Paimon is another demon. Okay, and Gomori tells us that we should focus on finding and gaining new love or inspiration. Okay, there we go. New inspiration. Okay, and new love with yourself first. You can't get to the Ten of Cups, which is with others, unless you're not in the Nine of Cups energy within yourself. Self love. Support by the Divine also. Okay. Scorpio, time's up. And I'm going to leave it there for you. And I hope the reading gives you the guidance and the answers that you seek at this current moment of your life. Okay? And I wish you all the best and all the healing that you need. Scorpio, I hope to see you next time. And as usual, stay safe. Stay happy, please. And stay very, very blessed. Goodbye, Scorpio.